you're researching where you want to live in the Austin, Texas area. Do you move north? Do you move south, east, west? Lots run through your mind. Well, we are here today to give you the rundown of living in Southwest Austin, the truth about living in Southwest Austin. We always invite you to drop a comment. We love seeing what you guys think about the different areas of Austin. Are you a South person? Are you a North person? Why? Let the people know. And we're getting right into it right now. What's happening, everybody? Ian Grossman here, your realtor in Austin, Texas. Hey, y'all. I'm Lindsay Fenton, and we're the Fenton Grossman Group. We are back out of here to educate you, inform you, keep you in the know when it comes to all things Austin, Texas real estate. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any big developments or information like today's video about areas, neighborhoods of Austin that you need to know more about. And also don't forget to check out our relocation guide. The link is in the description. It gives you everything you need to know about Austin. You'll become an Austin expert before you step into the city. And when you're trying to learn about where to live, we are the second resource. After you read our re relocation guide and get a few tidbits, then you got to come here to our channel and learn where you should move. North, South. We've, I feel like somebody's either a North person yes. or a South person. Um, and we're going to give you everything you need to know about Southwest Austin in particular today. So first off the bat, where is Southwest Austin? What do you consider Southwest Austin? So I consider Southwest Austin basically, and again, everyone has their own opinion of what Southwest Austin is, but this is just our opinion. It is essentially west of Brody. You're going to be south of 290 and 71 area, and then to give you a little bit better idea, like popular neighborhoods, we're looking at like Circle C, Meridian, Village of Western Oaks, Village of Legend Oaks. You have Shady Hollow area. What other neighborhoods? Um, like Oak Hill area, yeah. I would consider Southwest Austin. So all those Austin address, um, Southwest of downtown. And really you're about like a 15 to 20 minute kind of bubble from, yeah. from downtown Austin. So that's what we consider Southwest Austin. We're gonna give you a breakdown of uh, the good and the bad today. We're giving you the whole truth of living in Southwest Austin. So now that you know where it is, what to do. This is a big one, not just like outdoors what to do, but restaurants, entertainment. So let's start with the outdoors. We're in Austin, people like the nature here. Um, when you live in Southwest Austin, you kind of get that hill country feel in a lot of the areas, but you're still so close to downtown. So if you like that mix, Southwest Austin might be for you. Um, you know, tons of outdoors, such as in Circle C, you could do the, the hike and bike trails in Circle C, Cir Circle C Metropolitan Park. Um, the Vela Way is a, a long bike path. Um, it's a couple miles strictly for cycling. Bikes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's Dick Nichols Park uh, down uh, in Shady Hollow. There's several playgrounds and, and parks throughout there as well. Um, how about like things to do from a restaurant entertainment shopping standpoint? Ooh, well, I love a lot of the restaurants that are in the Southwest Austin area. So we have Taco Deli, we have Torchies, Flores is in Southwest Austin, which is one of my favorites because we can take the kids and it's a really easy playground for the kids. It's fully fenced, so you don't have to worry about them running off. Um, and the food is really good as well. Yeah, and just from like shopping standpoint, mm -hmm. there's a Costco right off William Cannon. Uh, there's a Whole Foods, Lifetime Fitness. So everything you need to stay in shape, to, to, to get your big time shopping done. There's several HEBs uh, located in Southwest Austin. We both live in Southwest Austin. Mm -hmm. and one of the things that I love is the proximity to all of the breweries and wineries in Dripping Springs and Driftwood. Um, you know, I like going out to like Vista Brewing or Dutchman Winery. I know there's one in Dripping Springs that you're it's my favorite you like a little bit more well it's it's so cute so it's called fits you brewing and it's very like chip and joanna Gaines. it's female owned and it's easy to have the kids come and play because the playground again i'm all about playgrounds I'm either eating or drinking with kids mm -hmm. <laughs> but and the beer is really good the wine is really good there uh, food's really good it's just great atmosphere yeah one of the tough combinations to find is a brewery that has really good food and that's definitely one of them that's high on that list. Um, and if you want to get out of Southwest Austin, again, you're 
a short drive straight shot on Mopac into downtown. That's what I love the most about Southwest Austin is um, you're not cutting across all these different highways. Mm -hmm. You jump on Mopac and you are downtown. Um, you can go the Lady Bird hike and bike trail, Zilker Park or restaurants, bars, whatever you want to do downtown. So convenience of it to me is one of the great perks of living in Southwest Austin. Definitely. And also, you know, we are really close to Sunset Valley. So Sunset Valley, some people still consider that Southwest Austin. And that has all of like your Lowe's, your Home Depot, World Market, Nordstrom Rack, Total Wine, all of the, you know, additional like shopping that you may need that's still really close by 15 minutes away. Super convenient. Yeah. If you're uh, a new homeowner in Southwest Austin, you're going to get down to, I mean, you're, you're going to be hitting Home Depot and Lowe's <laughs> at some point. So get used to Sunset Valley. And then a kind of exciting thing is Brody Oaks Shopping Center, which is a little bit further north than where the area we're talking about, but um, they're talking about this billion dollar overhaul of redeveloping the Brody Oak Shopping Center. So another convenient thing to look forward to uh, in the coming years, if you live in Southwest Austin. So another great thing about Southwest Austin area are the schools. So we have a lot of clients that move to the Southwest Austin area because of schools. And right now there's only primarily one high school in Southwest Austin. A lot of those neighborhoods are zoned to, which is Bowie High School. And that's ranked eight out of 10. And we have several middle schools. What are some of the middle schools? Um, so there's Goritsky Middle School. There is a uh, small middle school. There's Bailey Middle School. Goritsky is the highest rated out of those at an eight out of 10. But um, the other ones, again, we, we always give this disclaimer when we talk about schools and videos. Again, all the, the info we give you is according to greatschools.org. And a rating doesn't tell the entire story about mm -hmm. a school. but. Gritsky is the highest at 8 out of 10. And then there's several elementary schools throughout. But to give you the top rated ones, we've got Kiker Elementary, Clayton Elementary, and Mills Elementary, all rated 8 out of 10 or higher. So a lot of people do move to the Southwest Austin area. Um, and again, not all of Austin ISD is highly rated. There's, right. there's some areas where with some pretty low rated schools, but I would say Southwest Austin is where you can find some of those schools with, with better ratings. Mm -hmm. So we painted a picture of some of the reasons why you might want to consider moving to Southwest Austin. Now let's talk about some of the cons, reasons you might not want to live in Southwest Austin. Hit it off for us. All right. So we have a lot of clients and we always tell them, you know, if they're moving to Austin and they're trying to figure out where they want to live, do they want to live in the South or do they want to live in the North? And like Ian said earlier, you are either a South person or you are a North person. Normally they never mix. I don't know what it is. It's like a feeling, yeah. <laughs> but another, you know, a con of living in the South is if you live or if you work in tech. So like if you're working at Apple close to the domain, that commute into work is going to be pretty brutal. Yeah. There's, I mean, the domain, Samsung, Dell, Apple, all those big companies. Now here's one of the good things. A lot of the tech companies, if you're, you know, are having people work remotely now, or they're um, kind of building a presence south or east, like Tesla, like Oracle. Um, but if you're at one of those other main north tech companies, you probably don't want to make that commute if you're going to be going in there during rush hour, um, rush hour hours. So the second con is walkability. So for our clients that are really wanting to be close to the city, they want to walk to shops, grocery stores or restaurants and bars, really the Southwest Austin area isn't for them because it's a big suburb and you have to drive most places. Yeah, and in my neighborhood, like we could walk to the neighborhood pool, mm -hmm. but, and I could walk to HEB, but I'm probably not going to, right. you know, coffee shops, everywhere I'm getting in my car and driving to, I might have to drive five minutes, um, it's a short car ride, but yes, walkability, you'll probably want to be closer to town if you're really looking for kind of that urban lifestyle that you might be coming from in, in Northern California or New York City, um, one of those big cities. One of the other cons to kind of touch on that, uh, everything comes with a price tag, you know, to get good walkability. If you're living in like Travis Heights or Zilker or South Lamar, um, that comes with a big price tag. In Southwest Austin, that's now become a con is kind of the accessibility of entry level pricing. 
the median sales price in Austin is now in the 500s. Mm -hmm. And it's really hard to find a home in Southwest Austin for under 500,000. Um, the days of 500s, even like 600 now. I think it's almost like seven. Are pretty much over, yeah. yeah. If you're looking to get into a home in South Austin, you're probably getting the base, you know, three bed, two bath, 1500 plus square feet. You're probably pushing 700 now, and then it goes up from there. Now, that wasn't always the case. I moved there five years ago and bought my house for 400,000, um, but that doesn't exist anymore. So I would say that's one of the biggest cons. If you're strictly looking in that pocket of Southwest Austin, uh, affordability is, a, is definitely an issue. All right, so we painted a picture for you for what it's like to live in Southwest Austin, the good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about this area, let us know. We'll have more videos coming out highlighting different areas, uh, the truth about living in different parts of the Austin, Texas area. If this video is helpful to you, make sure you give us that thumbs up, smash that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.